Hello everyone, welcome back to the Repo Series. It's going to be a busy day here for us on the Mills County map. I just got the repo list sent over from the bank. We'll be looking for a 2020 Cummins, a 2020 GMC SEMA build truck in a package deal of a Toyota Tundra, bass boat, and the boat trailer. Now we will be using two brand new tow trucks, so let's take a quick walk around before we get going. One, we have a 2020 Ram 3500 Cummins rollback. This is perfect since we definitely do not want to drag these brand new trucks and we also do have a 2020 ford f-350 light duty wrecker i think we'll first hop here in the comments and get going i really want to go look here for the 2020 cummins it's a ram 2500 mega cab it's blue in color and they are five months behind on payments which uh, comes out to just over sixteen hundred dollars I'm really excited to be back here with the Repo Series. This is always a ton of fun here for us as we go around town trying to locate all the vehicles. Let's first head over to his address and see if it's over there. Now if you do want to see more Repo videos, please drop a like. It's much appreciated as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now with the repo series we are always jam packed here trying to get everything done and trying to get all of these repos here for the bank and get our paycheck and we are coming up here on the house now I don't see anything here let's actually back up really quickly or we'll pull off to side of road I don't see anyone outside as well so we should be good to go we'll just get stopped here now really quickly let's run up and over and let's see if we can see through the windows and I do not see anything through there but oh yeah there's no truck in the garage that is one empty garage there, so I think let's go check out the work. Now with the repo series, we are trying to repo vehicles where people just don't pay. You don't pay. We hook it and we book it back to the bank. Usually these vehicles will go off to auction as well. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy with schoolwork, but it's just nice to be back here behind the wheel of a tow truck. And I do want to do a heavy rescue video soon as well. I think that would be a ton of fun. So he does work over here at the local bank. Not the best place uh, to be doing a repo at a bank especially. And uh, we don't want a big, big crowd coming out because we just want to get the vehicle and bring it back to the tow yard. Now I would like to thank all of you guys for all the support here on the videos. You guys have been awesome these past few months, over the summer especially, and I really do appreciate it. Now, let's see, we really have to get in position uh, because if it's here, we won't have much time to get it up on. We'll get the lights going here because we'll be blocking traffic. And I do see it. Oh, it's here, guys. Uh, that is pretty awesome and definitely not going to be able to get that out. Wow, that's going to be a tricky one. Now we do actually have a working uh, winch here on it. So Let's get the roll back kind of out. Now we do have to make sure it is our uh, truck as well with the van. We do want to make sure the stabilizer is good to go there and we'll get the winch going. Now I do want to winch it up onto the trailer uh, rollback even though we do not uh, have to really just so that we can just make sure it fits. But this is one huge truck hop up here and this is it guys. Crack fin. The last four are it. Let's get this turned on. We do have to be pretty quickly. We'll just kind of get it lined up here. That way we can just watch and make sure it goes up and no problem. But wow, this is such a huge truck. Now the Rebo series has been pretty popular here, which is awesome. It's a pretty fun series and I definitely want to feature it a lot more. And let's get the winch in here. Just made sure the uh, truck had the e-brake on here. Uh, the winch brake is the best way to put it here because this is one huge truck uh, going up on the end. Oh yeah, this will be a tight one here. And I don't think we'll more than likely pop the wheelie. I do have the tow bar out on the bottom. And that is definitely helping. But look at that, guys. We have a Cummins towing. Another uh, Cummins here. Wow, that is one huge truck. Usually we do a smaller trucks here. Maybe we'll need to uh, pick up a bigger roll back now we don't have that long of a drive uh, back to the shop which is definitely good but today we are actually towing some pretty big trucks as well so hopefully we don't have any problems and we do have to watch the clearance up top now if you guys haven't already I do recommend you go check out my Instagram at square 2448 I do post some pretty cool pictures and cool content over there 
And if you do want the mods used in today's video, the link will be down below to the post on my website. And I will be trying to link even the mods uh, that I do edit the public versions. That way you guys can have something close uh, to what I'm using if it is uh, private. And we are back here at the tow yard, which is awesome. Pretty great uh, to get going here on the first one here today. So I think we'll just kind of get it unloaded probably right about here. And then we get to go find another awesome truck here. It's always busy. We just have so many things we have to get unloaded here. So let's hop on the inside. It is a little tricky uh, to do these uh, sometimes here. But right here will be good. And we do actually have to release the winch line. Perfect. And we'll just kind of drive it right off here. We'll put the e-brake, put a steering wheel lock, and we are good to go. Awesome. The next truck we'll be going after here is a 2020 GMC 2500 AT4. Now, this is a SEMA build truck full. I think it's almost a 10-inch lift on it. Big wheels and tires, and they are $4,000 past due here. They haven't been paying. They've been spending too much money here in truck mods. Now, we did get a tip that it is out there at their house. Let's go see if it's over there. Now SEMA is a pretty big auto show and usually people do build some pretty big, uh, some pretty awesome trucks and uh, this year uh, that is uh, going to be happening. But it looks like they built the truck, just uh, didn't really put the money into uh, paying off the loan and we are going to look for it. Now it should be able to fit here on this truck. I'm not sure just how much this Cummins rollback will be able to handle but it's a Cummins and it should be able to last pretty long. And we're coming up here on the house. Oh, yeah, it's in the driveway. That thing won't fit inside the garage. That's one thing uh, for sure. Let's get it blocked, and that is definitely it there. Wow. I do want to take a few pictures just to show uh, where exactly it was. But, wow, that thing is pretty tall. I think uh, we can't even really hop in it. It's so tall. All right, so I think right here seems to be good. Let's take a quick look. I will have to say this, a 2020 Cummins, the new body styles look so, uh, so sweet here. Wow, look at this, guys. This uh, Duramax here, it's the AT4 full lift. Wow, this is a hundred plus thousand dollar truck all said and done here. So let's see if we can put a winch line here on it and uh, get to winch in here. Perfect, we have a winch line there. Really quickly, I'm just going to kind of slide the back of the vehicle. Let's see what we have to do. We'll release the winch line just a little bit. I do want to readjust to make it a little bit easier here on us, but wow, this is going to be tricky. It's going to be a tight one. I'm not really sure how we are going to make it fit on this rollback, but we have to uh, because we need to take it to the repo shop. Here we go, guys. The Sam E uh, is going up on. Wow, this thing is huge. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what do you think here of this truck? I mean, it's so, so big. Really awesome suspension. It fully works as well, uh, which is pretty neat here. But I'm not sure this is going to fit. Maybe we might have to call in, or maybe we just have to kind of just drag it behind the truck here. But let's see what's going to happen. Looks like it's almost on. Let's uh, kind of get uh, this uh, roll back here. Now, really quickly, I will put the stabilizer down just to make sure we don't pop one huge wheelie. And then I think we'll release the tension, which should fix it. Sometimes it is a bit tricky but we're making it work now I am official Giants partner here so if you want to get farm sim on the PC uh, please use my links down below it's much appreciated as it helps out with the channel the seam the SEMA build truck is up on the rollback. Not sure how safe that is here. We got it all strapped down. I did put a few extra straps here on it. We do want to be as careful as we can because this is one huge, uh, massive truck. Probably one of the best trucks though I've seen here in farms with all the different modifications, including that uh, suspension here. Even though this suspension is for a show pretty much, it could tow and it is pretty realistic. But I will have to say this Cummins here is one awesome one, but I really want uh, to get some old older tow trucks here, maybe some early 2000s, maybe some OBS ones. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Should we get an OBS Ford, maybe even a second gen a regular cab a rollback? Really want to get some old ones uh, to kind of go along with a fleet of new ones. But wow, this was a bit tricky and we're back here at the shop. 
Now what's even trickier than this repo here is a one coming up here. It's three parts. We have a truck, we have a boat, and also a boat trailer, and we have to get all three at the same time, or pretty much at the same time here, which I'm kind of excited for to give it a try here. So what we'll do, let's see if we could uh, get this unloaded here. Now I just try to feature every uh, single part here in my videos. It's just something I like to do. Let's see if we could get that done, and we should be able to have this kind of roll right off here. Now with expensive trucks like this, we are given the keys to them uh, just to make sure we don't have any problems. And let's head on out to the last one. So the last one here is a 2017 Toyota Tundra. We have a Yamaha bass boat and a, uh, I believe it's an American built trailer. I think that's the name of it. We do have all three VINs here. Now we first have to get uh, the uh, truck. And then what I'm thinking is we'll probably just put a trailer lock, uh, probably uh, just chain the axles together so that uh, they can't be taken. And we are coming up here on the house. Wow, the truck is right out front now. They are just about five uh, to six months beyond on payments, which is once again a few thousand dollars. So I guess if you don't want to pay, you just don't pay for a very long time. Hope to not see a repo man like us, uh, but today it's not their lucky day here. Now we do have to check the VIN on it as well. Uh, that's something I always try to do. I do try to be realistic as well, and I definitely want to do some more construction kind of equipment repos with rollers, skid steers, and things like that. But really quickly, let's double check the VIN, and that's it. We'll take a few pictures. Wow, this is one awesome Tundra. Now it is pretty sweet here that we do have Toyota pickups now in the game. I've been wanting quite a few uh, for a long time here, but there we go, and we'll get winch and really do like uh, this wireless one here. So we'll get it rolled right up and on, and with four-wheel drive, with all of that in these pickup trucks, you really can't uh, be doing uh, it with the uh, wheel lift, uh, the small wrecker. But here's a bass boat over here, so let's just check the VIN on the trailer. That's it there, and the VIN's on the engine. So here it is, a bass boat. We'll take a few pictures and let's put a tongue lock on it. So there we go. Uh, we'll come back here with the other truck and get that. Now I would like to do both at the same time here because more than likely when we come back, I think the owner is going to be waiting for us and pulling a quick wheelie. But wow, uh, the, the Cummins doing a pretty good job. Now, if you do have any cool feedback here to improve my videos, my content, please let me know. I'm trying my best uh, to make the uh, best content every single day here for you guys. And it's just a lot of fun uh, to be able to upload YouTube videos every day. And I do have that new website like I have touched upon. So go check out all, all of the mods for today's video as well if you guys want uh, to use any of these in your game. And we are back here now. We don't have much time. We'll just kind of get parked up here. Don't want to uh, destroy the battery leaving those lights on. But let's hop here in the F350 here. This is such a sweet truck. And let's get the lights going. We got to get over there as quick as we can and get the uh, bass boat. Now I definitely want to do more videos here with tow trucks like the Heavy Rescue series and some other ones and we do have some pretty cool mods there for that as well but wow this truck is just so small so nimble uh, to be able to maneuver which is great since it's already known that this is it we could really just kind of hook and book it uh, get attached here and head to the shop. Let's get backed up, no problem. Going a little bit on the grass, but I mean, there's really no other way for us to get attached to it. And right here seems to be good. Let's see. Perfect, we got attached. Everything seems to be good here. Let's head on back. And I do see someone leaving the door. Looks like they're coming. Uh, and perfect. And uh, they will just have to call their bank here. Really don't want uh, to have an interaction with them because more than likely they're pretty upset. We just took not only their pride and joy, their pickup truck, but also their uh, water toy, their bass boat. It's been one really busy day here for us on the Mills County map. This package deal was a lot of work to find and to get all of them. But look at that, guys. The, we, the Repo Man, can get any repo done here today. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's repo video here on the Mills County map. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.